So here we are Friday heading into the weekend. Here we are. It's spring, but it's going to feel a whole lot more like winter for many of us across northeastern Wisconsin and even toward the UP. Your weather headlines whipping winds. Oh, those winds are going to howl gusty to around 35 miles an hour. It'll take time for them to ramp up during the day. But by the end of the day, that's what's going to happen. Get ready for rounds of rain, especially Green Bay South through the Fox Cities, but it'll be rounds of snow farther up to the north and a mix in between. A wonderful weekend, though, is on tap, and that's what we're going to look forward to with plenty of sunshine and much, much warmer temperatures. Any accumulating snow around Green Bay should melt off very quickly. 33 degrees outside right now. Today's high, well, actually, over the last 24 hours, 35. Nowhere near the average. I mean, we are cold for this time of year in northeastern Wisconsin. The average 48 degrees, and of course, oh, Many of us remember that record, 1997, 75 degrees. That was nice. Outside across northeastern Wisconsin right now, our temperatures generally in the low to mid-30s. This is a key point because there could be some slick conditions out there this morning. Be prepared for that as you head out for the morning commute. 32 right now in Oshkosh and Appleton. It's a degree better in Green Bay, also over to the lake in Manitowoc. And for you fine folks joining us this morning in Fondy, Sean, oh, you're also at 33. It's freezing up in the Door Peninsula, Sturgeon Bay. That's a, just a little bit warmer than we were yesterday, uh, but basically our temperatures have been flat from where they were 24 hours ago. Satellite and radar combination shows this massive storm system, and perhaps you've heard through the news uh, about all the severe weather that exploded. I mean, yesterday morning at this time, Tornado warnings going off around St. Louis. Uh, a report of an EF1 tornado down there. Uh, the severe weather potential now moves to the east, and there could be additional uh, severe weather. The main threat, I think, today will be some very strong winds. On the back edge of this is this huge shield of snow, and that's what's been affecting uh, parts of our viewing area up to the north and will continue to affect us. Uh, through the day today. But from Minnesota and even around the Twin Cities up into northwestern Wisconsin, by the time all is said and done, there could be an additional foot of snow accumulating. Back off to the west, that's some clearing sky, and that's what we're hoping to see as we head toward the weekend. So here's future forecast, our computer model pushing the storm system up to the northeast. That'll be their problem soon. High pressure takes over around here, ushers in plenty of sun for Saturday. I think it'll even linger into Sunday, although there will be a bit of an increase in clouds for Sunday. So your precision forecast for this Friday, look for a mix of precipitation across the area. Be prepared for potential slick conditions, freezing rain, rain and snow. Again, snow primarily to the north, although later in the day it'll transition all across our viewing area to snow toward the evening as well. Very windy and cold, only up to about 36 degrees. Tonight we drop to 24. Windy and cold, the snow comes to an end and we'll see clearing skies overnight. Then for tomorrow, mostly sunny, a seasonal chill with highs in the middle 40s. And for tomorrow night, mainly clear and mild. Temperatures dropping down to near 30 degrees. Here it comes, your seven-day planner. And uh, again, a great weekend on tap. Now, beginning of the, of the work week Monday looks like it could be kind of damp, but not a complete washout. And how about it? Into next week, our temperatures remaining above average, very pleasant. In fact, several days could be 50 or better.